how North Korea destroys lives. Though they were formerly part of an undivided Korea, the two Koreas couldn't have been more polar opposites. South Korea, which is ruled by Seoul, is a democracy with an open society and a booming economy. North Korea has been ruled by the Kim dynasty since 1948. Kim Il-sung established a totalitarian dictatorship, which was succeeded by son Kim Jong-il and current premier Kim Jong-un. North Korea's leader controls with an iron fist, and the country's policies are odd to say the least. North Korea is a terrible place, from being sentenced to death for falling asleep during an important meeting to not being able to cut one's hair as one pleases. Here's 10 reasons how North Korea has destroyed lives. Number 10. Drugs are common and largely unregulated According to UPI, drug usage in North Korea is generally unregulated and widespread, with an estimated 30% of North Koreans consuming drugs. According to Radio Free Asia, marijuana, known locally as Yoksum, is grown in such large quantities that traffickers sneak it across the border into China for international sale. Methamphetamines, particularly highly potent crystal meth, are also ubiquitous in the DPRK. According to Public Radio International, while these drugs aren't publicly tolerated, their usage is widespread. Meth is frequently used as an appetite suppressant and to aid people who work long hours on farms, factories, and in other vocations. This next one is proof that a lot of men wouldn't survive the communist state of North Korea without a haircut. Number 9. The 28 Legal Haircuts Everything in North Korea is under government control, including the right to choose an appropriate haircut. In reality, men can choose from 10 different hairstyles, all of which are short, whilst women have 18 options, all of which are short for married women and longer for unmarried ladies. According to sources within the country, the world's favorite hermit state introduced state-sanctioned haircuts for both men and women. While married women kept their tresses short, unmarried ladies were encouraged to go for longer, curlier curls. On the ladies' list, we prefer number 6, which pays homage to the magnificent feathering that dominated so much of the 80s. Hair cannot be longer than 2 inches for men under the age of 35, but older men can get away with up to 3 inches. Unsurprisingly, North Korea's young leader Kim Jong-un's current look is absent from the list, a variant on the high and tight that may be too much power for the country's non-elite. Number 8. Reading the Bible is punishable by death in North Korea, it's extremely easy to be imprisoned or executed in cold blood. If a citizen is caught reading a Bible, watching pornography, or seeing South Korean movies, they'll face a harsh death penalty, with the guilty individual being thrown into a cage with famished dogs as a common manner of execution. Isn't it a little excessive? According to persecution watchdog groups, being a Christian in North Korea entails employing stealthy, spy-like tactics to study the Bible, enduring death threats, and avoiding propaganda with tales of Christians harvesting organs. For years, ministries have been inventing new ways to smuggle Bibles and bits and pieces of scripture over land, air, and sea to help the underground church in Kim Jong-un's communist country, where he is revered as the sole deity. Another strange truth, but one that should be expected at this point. North Koreans are taught hymns of praise to the country's founder, Kim Il-sung, as well as to Kim Jong-un, the current leader who recently commended China's handling of the coronavirus. Before they eat, kindergartners are instructed to utter a prayer. Thank you, Father Kim Il-sung, for our food. Is being evil something you develop, or does it run in the family? Well, North Korea has it figured out, and they'll punish every generation to come for it. This is true justice. Number 7. Prisons are essentially death camps The act of disobedience to the government's rules isn't treated lightly. Prisons have been compared to Holocaust death camps in testimony. Prisoners are starved to death, beaten, tormented, and it's been speculated that experiments are conducted on their bodies, which is why these prisons are frequently linked to Holocaust death camps. However, committing a political crime doesn't automatically imply you will spend time in prison, even if they aren't related to the crime. Three generations of your family will have to follow, as it's often thought that bad behavior runs in the family. Essentially, the son does pay for the sins of the father. Number 6. Wearing jeans is illegal 
As symbols of a capitalistic lifestyle, North Korean supreme and wisest leader Kim Jong-un banned skinny jeans, mullets, and some body piercings. Denim pants, according to North Korea's authorities, represent their sworn enemy, the United States of America. According to reports from South Korean broadcaster Yonhap News Agency, a state-run tabloid even warned that more has to be done to prevent the country from succumbing to capitalistic culture. Rodong Sinmum, the official newspaper of the North Korean government, released an article expressing concern over young North Koreans increasingly adopting Western fashion styles, most likely under the duress of the dictatorial state. So who's in charge of enforcing these ludicrous laws? Members of the state-run youth organization, the Socialist Patriotic Youth League, frequently functioning as the country's fashion police, prohibiting people from wearing garments that appear too foreign. Despite the fact that wearing blue jeans is deemed a crime, black jeans have been permitted and can occasionally be seen on people in the country. Ever wondered what it would be like to live in Victorian times? where only the elite had rights, or only had driving privileges? Well, we have a country for you to check out. Number five, only elites are allowed to drive. Driving is strictly prohibited for the average North Korean person. Government and military leaders are the only ones who can afford an automobile. More broadly, the state controls and monitors transportation. It's nearly impossible for a North Korean to travel within his nation, let alone beyond. In reality, fleeing the nation is likely the most serious offense. Number 4. Tourism in North Korea This is a country where utter submission to the government is the norm. In North Korea, there's no such thing as dissent, and visitors must respect this or refrain from visiting the country. It's as simple as that in North Korea. Curiosity may get you or your guide killed. North Korean tourism is unlike anything else you'll find anywhere on the planet. The government monitors, controls, and carefully plans your every action. The Korean International Travel Company runs most, if not all, tours, and it will be their guides that show you around. Forget about independence, adventure, or solo travel in North Korea, it just doesn't work that way. Only as part of a guided tour is it feasible to travel across the country. Tourists must not leave their hotel without a guide, you will not be permitted to use public transportation at all, and if you and your guide break the regulations, both of you will be penalized. You shouldn't visit North Korea unless you're willing to accept harsh restrictions on your movements and behavior. Do you know how you sometimes don't like being in your parents' house because of all the rules? Well, this is ten times worse, with the threat of death. Number 3. Total Control Your guide will grab your passport and store it for security reasons when you arrive in North Korea. Make sure your passport's in good shape and matches the most popular passports in your nation. In addition, there's the Democratic People's Republic of Korea. Border officers often seize traveler cell phones upon arrival and only release them when they depart. You won't be able to interact with anyone or see anything that isn't part of your prearranged tour. You will not gain any insight into the lives of local North Koreans. Your tour will be meticulously planned so that you only visit authorized sites, shop in authorized businesses, and converse with official guides. Do not contravene any of the tour's regulations. Doing so puts your guide in danger. For facilitating your covert operations, they'll be imprisoned and possibly tortured. Follow the guide's lead and complement each location on your tour. Remembering the guideline, if you have nothing nice to say, say nothing at all. And with that, it's now time for today's best pick. Today's photo was sent to us by a subscriber, so if you come across a photo online and want to know more details about it, just send it over to us. We might even feature it in a future video. Number 2. Tricked into an assassination it would have been easy to overlook a lone North Korean guy dressed in a blue polo shirt and trousers heading to check into his aircraft to Macau on the morning of the 13th of February 2017 at Kuala Lumpur's busy International Airport Terminal. A woman approached him as he walked by a column, a rucksack draped over one shoulder, and wiped an oily substance on his face before fleeing. Her strange actions captured on CCTV. Another woman appeared from behind him and covered his eyes with her hands. She hurriedly apologized and moved away after sliding them down over his mouth. The man was dead in less than 20 minutes. 
having been the victim of a nerve agent assassination carried out with the nerve agent VX, one of the deadliest chemical weapons in the world. Kim Jong-nam, Kim Jong-un's half-brother and former heir to the North Korean throne, was the traveler. He'd fallen out of favor with his strong family. At least four North Korean spies were lurking nearby during the attack in scenes that wouldn't be out of place in a James Bond film to see the public killing and be ready with a backup plan if anything went wrong. Ironically, the defendants on trial for the murder were two former escorts, Sidi Asaya from Indonesia and Duan Thi Huang from Vietnam, who weren't operatives of the North Korean state. According to the women's confessions, North Korean agents had unwittingly prepared them as killers in the months prior. Sidi and Dewan were the ones who put the material on Kim Jong-nam's face, and they later told Malaysian cops that they were playing a joke for a Japanese YouTube show. All allegations against Sidi were dismissed in March 2019, leaving Dewan as the sole person accused of murder. She was then given a deal accept a lesser charge of causing bodily harm with a deadly weapon in exchange for 10 years in prison, rather than the mandatory death penalty of hanging if convicted of murder. She agreed, saying only in court that she's happy. Before we move on, I've got a little challenge for you that'll take 5 seconds to complete. So here's the deal, you just leave a like on this video, smash that subscribe button, and hit the notification bell, and you will get 25 years of amazing luck. Try it, it really works! Number 1. Nuclear Threat Nuclear missiles are one of the primary topics that have made headlines in the press about North Korea. North Korea has been working on nuclear missiles, which are large, powerful weapons capable of causing massive destruction, and which could one day be capable of hitting sites in the United States. It was thought that it wasn't developing any missiles capable of reaching and striking the United Kingdom, which is some 8,400 kilometers away. President Donald Trump dispatched warships and submarines to South Korea, a longtime ally of the United States, in an attempt to persuade Kim Jong-un to abandon his weapons-building plans. For the first time in August 2017, North Korea launched a missile capable of carrying weapons over northern Japan. It slammed into the water. Two weeks later, the country launched a second missile over Japan, this time flying higher and farther than the first. It landed in the sea as well. Shinzo Abe, Japan's prime minister, described the action as a severe danger to his country. North Korea announced in November 2017 that it successfully tested a new type of missile capable of reaching the whole United States. North Korea's leader said in April 2018 that his country will no longer conduct nuclear weapon tests. He also stated that a nuclear testing facility in the country's north would be shut down. At this point, it's enough to know that North Korea is one of those places better off watching on the news than ever being a part of. 